All right, guys, welcome back to my VR one block series, episode three. After the end of the first 20 days, we had managed to crap ourselves eight times, die nine times, and lose 25 animals. In today's third episode, you guys are going to see some more builds, and we almost lose our island to a bunch of mobs that decided to raid us. You guys have completely been blowing up the first two episodes, with almost 5 million views combined between the both. So if you haven't seen the first two episodes yet, make sure to watch those before you watch this one. And let me know down in the comments below which episode is your favorite. But guys, we are at a whopping 375,000 subscribers. We are so close to 1 million subs. In fact, if all of you right now watching this video smashes that sub button, We'll hit 1 million by tonight. So come on, let's see if we can break that challenge. Let's try to get 1 million subs by the end of tonight. And if we do that, I promise I'll stop making fun of my ex-girlfriend. And now let's finally get into the video. Alright guys, welcome back to my Skyblock Island. In the last episode, I left off with us just getting a phase upgrade. And I am so nervous to find out what phase we're going to be in. I, I feel like it's going to be so hard just because it's going to be phase 5 and that means we're halfway to the ender dragon. I can't believe I've made you guys wait 2 months just to see what phase we're going into. Alright, are you guys ready? We're finally going to see. But first, here's a message from my sponsor. Alright, time to start another awesome adventure on my island. What the heck? What's this? Sponsor chest? Aw oh, man, I wish I could see, but my vision in VR is just so blurry. I wish there was a solution. QXT here. I heard you can't see in VR. Here, take this. Whoa, thanks QXT. But what the heck is it? This is VR Wave. They make prescription lenses for multiple VR devices including the Quest 2, the Index, and more. These lenses correct astigmatism, far and nearsightedness while also protecting the inbuilt VR lenses. They also reduce eye strain thanks to their blue light and anti-glare options. They ship worldwide so make sure to visit their website in the description below. Cool, it's a chest of human flesh, and I don't even need my glasses to see it. Thanks, VR Wave, I can finally see again. <laughs> okay, guys, are you ready? I'm ready. I promise I'm not nervous, maybe a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what phase we got. Come on, give us something good, please. That's right, guys, we're gonna be in the jungle phase for this video, and I'm actually really nervous because I feel like it's gonna be extremely hard. And now we can go ahead and start off on day 21. I was gonna start day 21 with some grinding, but then I remembered. In the last episode, I got the coolest weapon in all of Minecraft. <laughs> Excited to use it, I dove into my aquarium and tried it out. Please be in the tree, please be in the tree, please be in the tree, please be in the tree. <sighs> Son of a... Well, like the idiot I am, I threw it right off the map instead of actually using it. Dumb things like this is probably why I have no friends. My next chore for today is fixing my aquarium. I'm sure you guys have noticed, but there's a small gap under all my fences. I'm not even sure how that happened. But because of that gap, my fishes keep getting out and dying. But let me just go ahead and speed this part up for you guys. And as I was almost done filling in all the gaps, I noticed two of my fish had gotten out and one of them literally fell off the map. But luckily, I was able to save this guy. Now that all the gaps are filled, I'm hoping I won't lose any more fish. But I guess I spoke too soon. As I was putting my stuff away, I heard one of my fish flopping around, and I was so confused. But I found it stuck in a gap under the sand. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't even know that could happen. I guess doing things the lazy way doesn't always work out. 
I grabbed some more slabs from my chest and I filled in the rest of the gaps. And now my aquarium is officially idiot proof. Well, I guess it's not idiot proof enough for me though because I literally almost just drowned in it. And then I managed to knock out one of my fish when I was trying to get air. I really am special. Or maybe he saw my ugly face and tried to leave me like all my ex-girlfriends. Either way, let me put him back in his home. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And now to just add the last bit of decoration. Wow, and now my aquarium's looking like liquid hot Cheeto ass. I bet you guys wish you had this aquarium. And that about wraps up the rest of night 21. By the end of day 21, we had shit ourselves eight times, died nine times, and lost 26 animals. Day 22 started off bright and early. I was feeling a little behind though because I didn't do any grinding on day 21. So I ate some breakfast and I got to work. It was my first time mining in this jungle phase and I was really curious what kind of blocks and animals I was gonna get. Or more importantly, what kind of mobs were gonna spawn in. So far, it was just a bunch of cobblestone and more cobblestone. Oh, and some grass and more cobblestone. But then, these really colorful ducks spawned in. I really wanted to tame them because they're so cool looking, so I rushed over to my chest and grabbed some seeds. I was having a hard time taming them because they kept flying so high up and I couldn't reach them. However, one finally came down to me, but then it saw my face and turned around real fast. I still managed to tame it though before it got too far away. Then I tried to get the other bird, but he just wouldn't come down. <sighs> Come on, you stupid bird, just come down here and eat the seeds. I finally gave up on that one and turned around to get the other one, and then I saw him in my aquarium. <laughs> That's so weird. I guess this bird thinks it's a fish or something. And then another bird ended up in my aquarium. What the hell's wrong with these guys? They must be idiots like I am. I was scared he was gonna drown, so I tried punching him over to the side so he could climb up, and well, I don't want to spoil anything. You guys can just watch. Yeah, I might have accidentally killed him. I wasn't too upset though because I already tamed one and there is a third one flying around my island somewhere. So I climbed back up top and I made my tame one sit there while I looked for the third one. It was kind of annoying making him stay though because every single time I'd get close to him he would start flying away and I had to chase him all around my island. But I finally got him to sit. I wanted to tame that third one and last I saw him he was in the trees so I decided to climb up and look for him. When I finally got up there, I couldn't find him anywhere. I ran all the way to the back, but he was literally nowhere up there. So I decided to check down under the trees. But as you can see, he was nowhere to be found here either. My guess is that he unfortunately flew right off my island. That's okay, at least I managed to tame one of them though. And just to ensure this little guy stays safe, I'm going to build him a birdhouse. For some reason, in the middle of me building, I decided to have him fly around, but then he flew straight into my body. And I couldn't find him anywhere, I was so confused. He wasn't behind me or anything, it's like he just vanished. But then I opened up my inventory and there he was, right on my shoulder. Oh crap, wait, stop looking at me. Ah, oh, there we go, no more bald head. Try to make fun of my head now, Billy. Look at how cute our little bird is, even though he is a piece of crap and he always flies away from us. I wanted to get back to building his birdhouse, but when I tried setting him down I accidentally punched him right in his face. And then he ended up in my aquarium again. Why is he even staring at me like that? Like he needs help. He's literally the one that chose to fly in there. Since I'm really nice and I'm a good animal owner, I decided to jump in and try to save it. I really just don't want PETA coming over to my island though. They probably would report me if they saw how many of my animals I've killed so far. And as soon as I jump in, he flies right out like it was nothing. And then he flies back in again. I swear this little a-hole is trolling me. At this point, I'm kind of panicking though because I think he's about to drown. <sighs> oh my god, he's gonna drown. 
He finally managed to get himself free and I climbed up the ladder to chase him down and then he just vanished. Once again, I was really confused and then somehow he ended up behind me. I swear this guy is such a troll. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think I should name this troll bird. And now I can finally get back to finishing the birdhouse. But shortly into my build, the troll bird once again tries to troll me. <sighs> I don't even know how the hell this guy just got over here, but now he's literally about to commit suicide right in the middle of me building his house. Yo, are you gonna behave? No? Okay. <laughs> Seriously, look at this guy. He just flies around, looks at me, and then flies away. He's literally just taunting me at this point, and I'm getting really annoyed. Would it be bad if I'm actually hoping he dies and just, you know, flies into the abyss to forever be gone? I actually never realized there was someone out there I could hate more than my ex-girlfriend. Okay, I think he might actually be dead now. Look how low he is. Birdie, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry for everything I said. Please come back. I don't want you to die. Oh, wait, what the hell? It actually worked. All right, well, I guess we managed to somehow save him. Until he flew away once again. And you know what? I'm just going to speed this part up because it's painful to watch. Finally, finally, after like 10 minutes of chasing him around, I finally got him safe and sound on the ground. And now here's a time lapse of the whole birdhouse from start to finish. And now that we finally finished the birdhouse, it was time to get this little piece of crap into his new home. There, I finally got him in, and I decided to add these two picture frames of feathers so that we can remember the other two birds that he spawned in with that unfortunately died, because they were his brother and sister after all. I hope you like it, little guy. It's a bit cramped, but that's kind of what you deserve for being such a piece of sh <coughs> Nothing else exciting happened for the rest of the night, so I decided to relax a little bit and finish the night off by smelting all of my iron. It's now the morning of day 23 and all of my iron is finally smelted. And now it was time to finally get back to grinding. It's funny because the main point of this game mode is to mine these blocks and progress through the phases, but I feel like the further I progress, the less time I actually have for mining because I'm so busy taking care of the rest of the island. And just as I was relaxing and enjoying my time mining, this happened. These two crazy looking flying things spawned in, and I was so scared I was gonna die. They got me halfway dead, so I freaked out and then I hid into my forest. Oh my god guys, I'm so scared right now. I feel like they're going to attack me any moment. After hiding there for a few moments, I decided to face my fears, so I left to try to kill them. guys can finally breathe i killed it wow that was intense all right so these things are really scary can you guys let me know down in the comments what these even are i swear the jungle phase just loves trolling me with flying things the one good thing about those things spawning in is that they spawned in with a chest so i'm finally able to open it now i got some sugar paper and a leash and then i got the best idea ever and you guys are never gonna guess what i do That's right, I finally get to get my payback. This stupid bird made me go all over my island, so now I get to drag him all over my island. 
I'm gonna speed this part up, but I'm sure you guys can appreciate the payback we finally got on this stupid bird. I was finally done torturing him, so I set him down and started pushing him back into his birdhouse, and then I got instant karma. Everything happened so fast, I lost the leash, now my bird's dying, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm panicking and I'm trying to save him. The next day. Many months later. That's a bad bird, stop trolling me. I hope the name you guys pick out for this guy is really bad because he does not deserve a good name whatsoever. And now that I wasted most of my day, it's time to get back to grinding so that we can hopefully get to phase 6 by the end of this episode and get one step closer to defeating the ender dragon. And shortly into my grind, this adorable cheetah spawned in. But there were two of them. I immediately wanted to tame these, so I went to my box and grabbed some fish. But after I fed them, they did something really weird, and then a baby popped out. That's not how my parents told me a baby's made. Well, I'm glad I never gave any fish to my ex-girlfriend. But seriously though, I think baby cheetahs might be the cutest thing I've seen so far in Minecraft. The little guy was super fast though, and I was scared he was gonna run right off the map, so I had to baby-proof the animal pen. And now that the animal pin is fully baby proof, it's time to get everything moved over behind the gate. And I'm just going to show a time lapse of this because it actually took me forever. And finally, all I had left was the baby cheetah. And look how cute he is. Look how tiny he looks walking over here. After moving my animals, I got back to mining, but you'll never guess what happened. Another cheetah spawned in and there was a chest. And as always, I don't know what it is about the jungle phase, but I am always getting trolled by the animals. I had such a hard time getting this cheetah into the pen, so I'm just gonna speed this up and you can watch the pain I went through. I finally got him close enough to where I could beat him into the pin. Please don't report me to PETA. And here's a time lapse of me failing, trying to get my new cheetahs into the correct side of the animal pin. You'll see that I eventually give up. I really hope that the animals in the next phase are better at listening. At this point I just gave up and I let the cats be on their own side. After giving up trying to move my animals, I finally opened that chest that spawned in with the cheetah. And it looks like we got some pretty cool stuff. We even got a heart of sea. I'm gonna be honest though, I have no idea what that is, but it sounds like it's pretty good. What do you guys think about the rain in Minecraft? I actually find it really relaxing, but I also live in Florida and I love the rain in real life. So maybe that's why. What do you guys think? But enough about the rain, look at this guy that just spawned in. We got big old Bertha. She may be big, but she sure is beautiful. I have to admit though, I was a little bit scared of Bertha because I wasn't sure if she was hostile or not. So I slowly snuck up behind her and gave her a big old slap on her Bertha booty. But don't tell my fiance that I just touched another girl's booty. She'll get really jealous. I did feel bad for hurting Bertha though, so I gave her an apology. There there Bertha, you big beautiful koala bear. 
But karma quickly caught up to me as I got back to mining, this bitch spawned in. I mean, the switch spawned in. I mean, I guess they're the same thing, right? Surprisingly, as scary as she looked, she was sure easy to kill. And that about wraps it up for day 23. Day 24 had just begun and I about shit my pants. Seriously, what the f*** is that? Well, I might as well open it and find out. Looks like we have some dye, some seeds, some mushrooms, and an egg. What the heck is a squid egg? I thought squids were mammals. How do they lay eggs? As weird as I thought it was, I was definitely excited to throw it in my aquarium and see what happens. And wow, who would have guessed? It spawned in a squid. But it definitely looked really cool in my aquarium. Why did they make squids so ugly? Like, look at this thing. It reminds me of when I first met my ex-girlfriend. Actually, you know what? That's a little too harsh. The squid is definitely better looking. But then the weirdest thing happened. The squid dropped me an item and then just vanished. What the heck? Well, thank you for the present, Miss Squid. I hope you have a good life wherever you just vanished off to. Enough about the squid, though. Let's hurry up and get back to mining. I really want to see us get to phase six by the end of this episode. I think I'm a little behind and we're already halfway through this episode, so I'm kind of scared we may not make it in time. But soon enough, we got distracted once again because two beautiful horses spawned in. And I did what any good owner would do. I beat them into submission. What the heck are they doing down there? Hey, keep it PG, please. My mom might walk in. Come on. You know, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but for some reason, I thought the jungle would have cooler blocks than this. But, I mean, there's not really much in a jungle, is there? Oh, but it looks like there are some more horses I get to beat up. Why do I enjoy this so much? You know what? While I'm at it, let me beat up these guys too. I was putting my items away and then I remembered I had a map. And honestly, you guys, I think my island looks way better on the map than it actually does just looking at it normally. I mean, look at this. It looks like I have a giant house. I have a nice little tree farm, a little loft I can go walk onto. I've got a pool and a jacuzzi, but then you look at it in person and it's just like, ew, who built this? Let me know in the comments below on a scale of 1 to 10 what you would rate my island. Keep in mind though, this is only day 24 and we still have a long way to go until the ender dragon. Shortly after I got back to mining, I got another chest and I got some lapis, which means soon I'll be able to enchant my gear. And then I'll truly be an OP VR Minecrafter. And I grinded for the rest of night 24. The morning of day 25, I immediately got started grinding. And then three more colorful pigeons spawned in. And once again, I was chasing these stupid birds around with some seeds. I honestly don't even know why I'm trying to tame them because I really hate these things. For some reason, I just have this urge that I have to tame every single thing that comes onto my island. And yeah, I, I don't know why that is but that's why I guess I'm chasing these things around for a second time. But surprisingly, I managed to get right next to one and it ate almost all my seeds and still won't it tame. Seriously, you guys, look at this fatty. Look at how many seeds they're eating. Like, this is insane. Finally, though, I managed to tame one of them and then I chased down the other one. And then the second one almost ate the rest of my seeds. Keep in mind, guys, I started with like 24 or something like that. I had well over 20 and now I only have three seeds left. These are by far the fattest pigeons I've ever encountered in Minecraft. And I won't even be able to tame the other ones because I need to keep enough seeds for my garden. Okay, why do these birds always fly into the water? I really don't get it. Seriously, come on. At this point, I think they just like the attention. Once again, I'm on another rescue mission and I'm feeling like an idiot, but surprisingly, it actually flies out pretty fast. When I tried exiting the aquarium, one of the cheetahs decided to run into the aquarium and now I have an even bigger problem. But I suddenly got distracted because when I tried climbing my ladder, I somehow ended up on top of my horse. I was so confused how I ended up on here. I didn't even know I could ride this unless I tamed it. Speaking of which, I don't even know how to tame it. 
but now it's really making me want to tame these things. So I'm going to have to figure that out at some point. I kept mounting them thinking that maybe it would eventually tame them, but I don't think it was actually doing anything. I sat on this guy's back for like 5 minutes straight, but nothing at all happened, so I finally just gave up. And I think it's safe to say it was a very awkward 5 minutes. I don't think he liked it, and I don't think I liked it. But I think his buddy was getting jealous because he was super close to us and he would not stop staring. I got carried away with the horse and almost forgot about my drowning cheetah and now I'm kind of panicking because this thing might drown at any second now. <sighs> and then my stupid bird, of course, decided to join the cheetah in the water and now both of them are drowning. I managed to save my cheetah, but as soon as I opened the door, all the other cheetahs tried to come out. What is wrong with my animals? It's like they all want to die. Is my island that bad? Look at this guy. He clearly just wants attention. He flies directly in front of me just to drown himself. And then he flies away like nothing happened. I actually hate these birds with a passion. Do any of you guys like the birds or do you also find them annoying? Now I can't even find where the guy went. He's not drowning himself. I don't see him on my island. I'm confused once again. Oh, and somehow he's magically behind me. And finally, both idiots were back home together again. Now that I was almost out of all my seeds just from taming these birds, I think it was finally time to start my garden. I wasn't exactly sure where to put it, so I looked around and I think maybe over here is the best spot for it. I was thinking about maybe putting it at the end of my animal pen, but I think that would look really ugly. And yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just kind of awkward positioning. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it over here. And don't worry, I know you guys love the time lapses, so here you go. I went ahead and placed my wheat seeds over on this side. And then I tried placing my cocoa seeds, but they wouldn't place for some reason. Uh, I, d I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but yeah, they, maybe they're just broken. And up here I placed my pumpkins, and then some radishes, and then I used some bone meal on my wheat just to see how fast it made it grow. And honestly, I wasn't that impressed. I was hoping it would do like a big area and not just one crop at a time. However, bone meal does make it nice getting seeds early. I didn't like that my crops were right on the edge because I felt like I was going to lose some seeds, so I decided to expand it some. After I was done expanding my garden, I planted some potatoes. And then I remembered I got those weird looking mushrooms out of that really scary chest. I could only plant them in the dry soil and I'm actually not sure what they do. But they look kind of cool so I guess I'll just keep them here. And then I decided to breed my cows because I finally had some extra wheat. That was fast. Relatable. Alright, I cannot get over how cute the babies are in this game. One thing Minecraft did right is making the babies adorable. Eventually I want to have enough wheat and enough cows that I can just breed like a hundred babies. I finally got back to grinding and I found some redstone, some gold, and a diamond. Oh my god, not again. Why do these parakeets keep spawning? Just leave me alone, please. Actually, I just realized I can't even tame them if I wanted to because I'm literally out of seeds. All the seeds I own right now are planted in my garden. So at least now I don't even have to worry about taming them. And now there is something very exciting that I wanted to do. Just wait until you guys see this. That's right, not one, but two. Double diamond swords, baby. Let's go. And of course it was time to put them to the test and see how well they work.
Damn, these things are so good in VR. Now I don't even care that I lost my trident earlier. Alright guys, be honest, if you had to choose between VR Minecraft or normal Minecraft, what would you pick? Also, don't mind me planting this potato, I have OCD. I think the main thing that I like about VR Minecraft is that you kind of feel like you're actually in the game. The immersion level is so high with all your visuals and then you have the speakers right in your ear so you hear everything. I don't know, it's just a really nice relaxing vibe. And now I'm going to continue mining until it's nighttime. And of course, shortly after nightfall, this happens. Oh my god. It's a huge monster party. And then the witch did the worst thing possible. She hurt Bertha. Oh, I'm sorry, Big Bertha. She hurt me too. She's a bully, I know. I know. As quiet as things seemed, the battle was still not over. I still had to deal with those annoying flying things. But quickly while fighting them, I got the best idea ever. Some VR Minecraft bow action. And finally the battle is won, and now it's back to grinding. Never mind, apparently I spoke too soon. Wow, I was fighting those guys all night, but I made quick work of them in no time and then I got back to the grind. And I just realized it's the start of day 26. I started grinding nice and early. And then another beautiful majestic horse spawned in and then I abused it into my animal pen. And shortly after that, I got another diamond. And then another chest spawned in. Wow, I'm actually getting very lucky right now. I opened the chest and I got a music disc, some string, and a book. And maybe one day I'll make a music box for my island and then I can jam out while I grind. Then shortly after that, two more tigers spawned in and I punched them into my animal pen. I realized I hadn't checked on my garden in a while, so I went ahead and gave it some love. My fiance actually walked in while I was recording, so I'm just gonna leave this part here so you guys can hear our conversation. Wanna see a baby cow? <laughs> watch, I'm. Watch. Wait, can you even see? Red ones? Yeah, watch, I'm gonna breed them right now. So look, you just give them some wheat and then they make love. Now they're gonna have a little baby. Oh, look at the little baby. She thought it was adorable, by the way, but you couldn't really hear her because my microphone wasn't picking it up. It was cool having her watch me, but she was becoming a big distraction, so I had to kick her out of my room and get back to the grinding. 
and my luck was still running great. I got another diamond and two more lions. Do you guys ever feel bad for hitting Minecraft animals? Because for some reason I don't. Speaking of animals, how in the hell did I end up with this entire zoo? I think when I started the jungle phase, I had like two cows and a pig. I think that was literally all I had. Oh, and my dogs, of course. But I just got another chest and it has some sugarcane in it. So now I can actually start a sugarcane farm, which is really cool. You know, us Americans do love our sugar after all. I went over to my garden to plant my sugarcane, but like the idiot I am, I completely forgot that you have to plant it in sand and not soil. And I don't even want to tell you guys how long it took me to realize that. But sure enough, I remembered and I decided to put my sugarcane farm right next to my aquarium. But then I accidentally put a hole in my aquarium and I was really scared that my fish were going to pour out and fall into the void. I literally just froze in like a panic, but I finally clogged it up with some sand. And shortly after that, I finished placing all my sugar cane and I think it actually looked really good. <sighs> but as I backed up, I realized there was one major issue with my farm. Do you guys notice anything wrong with this? Yeah, there's completely no room for my sugar cane to grow because my floor is directly above it. Alright, be honest guys, am I one of the worst Minecraft players you've ever seen? Or am I one of the best since I only play VR and everyone knows that VR Minecraft is harder than normal Minecraft? Well, either way, I hope you guys enjoy this time lapse of me fixing my sugar cane farm. Now that the sugarcane farm was all fixed up, it was time to get back to grinding because it was already the night of day 26 and I feel like I'm still nowhere close to the next phase, which means I'm no closer to getting to the ender dragon. By the way, how do you guys feel about farming at night versus farming during the day? I actually really like farming at night because there's just something so peaceful about the clouds and the stars. I, I don't know, it's just a real- Hey, hey Miss Witch, you interrupted me. That's not nice, okay? After I killed the witch, I worked up quite an appetite, so I ate some dinner and then I got back to the ground. And after a few more blocks, I got to beat up some more horses. And after that, I got another one of these spooky chests. Hopefully it's got something good. Ooh, and I got some yellow coral for my aquarium. Also, I hate that there's blue ice in there because it reminds me about the time in episode one when I sat there for like an hour trying to melt my blue ice with the torch. Uh, I'm so dumb sometimes. And hey, soon after the chest, I got to beat up some more horses. My favorite thing to do. You feel more powerful than beating up some innocent animals. You know what I'm curious about, guys? Why are all of my animals always grouped up so close to me? Like, why aren't they all the way out at the other side of the pen? Like 90% of my animals are literally right in front of me at all times and I really don't understand. Maybe they just naturally go to people, I have no idea. But I'm gonna shut up now because I'm about to get into another epic battle. I'm just too good and they were no match for me. Not to brag, but I am pretty sick with a bow. I was gonna go back to grinding, but then I realized my first pumpkin grew. So I ran over to my garden and spent the rest of the night working on it. Day 27 finally started, and I think all of my good luck officially ran out. I mean, besides that diamond I just got though, that was pretty lucky. As soon as I started grinding, it immediately started raining. And it rained for pretty much the entire day. And then my luck got even worse, because right after that, this happened. Not one, but two witches spawned in, and I was freaking out. Surprisingly, I actually dealt with both of them pretty easily, but for some reason I kept taking damage. 
I thought any moment it would go away, but I just kept losing more and more health. And then I got to the point where I was freaking out and I thought I was going to die. So I started throwing my gear into a chest because I really didn't want to lose my diamond swords. And now I'm practically shitting myself because I have no hearts and I swear I'm about to die. But then it turns out I guess you can't actually die from the poison. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what's going on, but this poison is very, very annoying. And hey, I never died. So I guess there's some luck there. Alright, do you guys remember when I said I was having really bad luck? Well, take a look at this. When I walked over to my animal pen to get more mushroom stew, yeah, I noticed a bunch of my animals were in the aquarium and I was so confused as to how that even happened. I'm convinced that my horses did this and they're plotting to try to take over my island. And their first goal is to get rid of all the other animals. Even the poor little babies drowning. Aww. On a serious note though, I was freaking out because I didn't want to lose any of my animals. So I hurried up the fastest I could and tried to save them. First I tried to just push them all over to the side, but it wasn't really working out because they all just kept pushing each other, so I had to somehow come up with a better plan. I decided I would try to grab some blocks and build underneath them and give them like a little platform to stand on and maybe that would help them out. And sure enough, this actually looks like it was going to work out really well, but you guys are going to see later on that there is a big mistake. I managed to save one of the panthers, and then one of my cows, and then there were three more to go, and this is where things took a turn for the worse. My cat decided to haul ass right over the other side of my fence, and then it got stuck. Like, why bro? Why would you even do that? I'm dumb and that's not even something I would do. And there's no way you're dumber than I am. <laughs> and then he literally just jumped right off the map. I don't know. Maybe he hates this island that much. Whatever. Honestly, I have enough lions, so I'm not even bothered. As long as it's not one of my precious cows, because my cows mean a lot to me and I definitely don't want any of those to die. Alright buddy, it's your turn. Let's get you safe and sound. No, Mr. Moo, you idiot! Why? Why would you jump over the fence? Oh my god, you look so sad. Hang on, buddy, I'm gonna help you. I'm honestly sweating at this point and I don't even know what to do because I don't want to scare him off the edge. So I think my plan is to climb up here and try to punch him over to the safe side. No. Oh my god, I just murdered him in cold blood in front of his wife and his kid. No, stop looking at me like that, please. It was an accident, I swear. Well, I guess the only way I can make things right is if I can save the child. But before I tried to save him, I wanted to repair the wall, and I decided to move this block over so that the animals can no longer climb on it. And then when I turned around to go save him, he was a full grown adult. I guess the traumatizing experience of seeing his own father beaten to death was just too much for his little body to handle and he skipped straight through puberty into a full grown adult. I can't believe I've ruined this poor baby cow's entire childhood. Damn, I'm either a monster or a complete idiot. Well, at least I managed to save him, but he somehow got on top of my island, but you know what, that's okay. We're just gonna leave him up there and he can go do whatever he wants. He's had a pretty stressful day. And here's a quick time lapse of me repairing my aquarium. Now, where did my cow run off to? He's pretty big, so it shouldn't be that hard to find him. Oh, here he is, literally as far away from me as possible. And honestly, I don't blame him. Don't worry, little guy, I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. You know, kinda like I did to your father, but don't worry, that won't be you. As of today, I'm a changed man and I'm no longer a cow beater. Horses, on the other hand though, they better watch out. Later that night, it finally stopped raining and my cow came out from the forest that he was hiding in. I finally saw my chance to knock him into the animal pen and yeah, I kinda got instant karma from killing his dad. I was not expecting that at all and it definitely scared the shit out of me because it felt like I was falling. I guess that's the cool but also bad thing about VR because when you fall like that, you literally feel your stomach drop. <sighs> well, I guess I deserve that, but come on, I had two diamond swords. What's more important, seriously, a dad or two diamond swords? Obviously, the two diamond swords are much more important. 
Welp, I guess I'm gonna remake my kit and get back to grinding. You know what? I lied. I'm actually gonna harvest some crops and then I'll get back to grinding. After I finished working in my garden, I grinded for the rest of night 27. Also, I'm not going to include day 28 in this video because literally nothing happened on day 28, so it would actually just be really boring to watch. So we're going to go straight to day 29. Alright, we're finally on day 29 and it's our last day to get to phase 6. I have no idea how many blocks I am away from phase 6, but I better do some serious grinding. And right off the bat, we got a chest and it had more sugar cane. Funny enough, I actually forgot that I even made a sugar cane farm. So let me go ahead and do a little bit of work on that real fast. Also, I just remembered that I got yellow coral earlier, so let me go ahead and redecorate my aquarium some. And look at that, the fish already love it. You know what they say, happy fish, happy life. And now it's back to the grind so that we can hopefully make it to phase 6 by the end of today. And hey, look at that, we got another love chest. Usually these end up being pretty good, so let's go ahead and take a look inside. Alright, we got some cocoa beans, bamboo, a diamond, hell yeah, and we got a jungle sapling. I was actually really excited to go plant the bamboo, so I headed over to my garden to do just that. But like the idiot I am, I had an issue planting it, so I tried it out on some dry dirt, and sure enough, it worked. So I went ahead and I destroyed all of my garden. Just kidding, I only destroyed this part here. And there you have it, my garden's looking really really nice with that bamboo. I was actually kind of overwhelmed by how unorganized all my animals are because believe it or not I'm actually a super organized person so I was debating on redoing my animal pen but I knew I only had this last day to finish grinding so I really had no choice but to get back to the grind and time was of the essence because the sun had started setting so I had a hurry. Oh wait what? Seriously? Okay well um yeah, there you have it guys. We made it to phase six. Let's go. I don't know why, but this timer always stresses me out. I'm really curious what phase six is going to be. Honestly, I thought the jungle phase was going to be a lot harder, but it wasn't too bad. So now I'm even more nervous for phase six because I feel like they're going to kind of make up for the difficulty from this phase. What biome do you guys think phase six is going to be? Let me know down in the comments below. Whoever gets it right might get a prize, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just saying that. I guess you'll have to find out. Oh god, here we go guys. We're about to find out what phase is next. Oh come on, I freaking knew it. No way. This is going to be the worst phase by far. Well guys, we officially made it through a total of 30 days, and we are now more than halfway there to the Ender Dragon. We now have shit ourselves 11 times, died 10 times, and we have lost 33 animals. What do you guys think our numbers will look like by day 100? In part 4, there's going to be a whole new phase and some more builds. If you guys enjoyed this series and want a part 4, then make sure to like and comment on what I should do next to my island because I really have no idea. I really had a lot of fun making this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you want to be able to play my exact world after I finish the series, then you can do so by subscribing to my Patreon. Also, we have a Discord with over 8,000 members. You guys should definitely join and you'll get the most up-to-date information about my next video. Other than that, I hope you guys subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.